I recently came to know that you are doing Google data analysis analytics, analytics course. Yeah. Your goal is to do the advanced one. Right yeah. now you're doing the beginner one just to yeah. get a fundamental straight. Yeah. So why does a project manager need to do a data analysis course? Like that is what I want to ask you. Yeah, that's a great question. So lately, my perspective of how I see the field of data analysis has completely changed. Okay. Why? Because previously I used to look at it as a job profile, right? So you do data analysis when you're a data analyst, right? If right, you're a data right. analyst, that's when you do data analysis. Correct. But I was doing data analysis, like even when I was a software developer, mm -hmm. and I am still doing data analysis when I'm a technical project manager. So in your right? job, so, you actually have to do some kind of data analysis. Exactly. So if you're working with data, you have to do it. You have to do data analysis without even realizing it. Mm. It was the same thing with me. I thought like if I'm already doing data analysis at my job, like why not get trained in it, right? Because I never received formal training in data analysis. So based so, on your experience, you thought that it's like a tool exactly. that you can have in your belt. And if you're already using it, then why not go be get better at it? Exactly. So if I'm already doing it, why not just get my fundamentals clear too while I'm at it? And is that the so, reason you're doing the beginner one first? Yeah, I'm doing the beginner one first. But, but you know, like honestly, so far, I've, I have not learned anything new in the beginner course. So everything... Is that because you are already an experienced developer working in the field true. or is it true for anyone like if if a graduate if a 12th grade student wants to get this course they will learn nothing no that's not true for okay, them. So let's, let's clear so that. Okay. you're right it's because i already have five years of you know like working experience in the mm -hmm. field of uh, software development and project management and right. so and so and as i said data analysis was already a part of my job so i was already familiar with SQL and Excel and you know oh, okay. like R and Python so this is what I'm learning in the course as well right now basic Excel and basic SQL okay. so I already am familiar with these uh, tools mm -hmm. now the thing that I learned in this basic course and why it is important for me so you learn the terminologies so now when I talk to people and they throw this jargon like that already that's widely used in the industry yeah, for example. yeah like for example i know that there are different kinds of biases with data and it's important to make sure that your data does not have any bias i couldn't classify the biases into the different types mm -hmm. but now since i was doing this course they taught me that okay there's five kinds of biases they can be confirmation bias they can be recency bias so like this kind of stuff so, right so you are saying because i want to conclude this you are saying that yes if someone is new and they want to do the basic data google data analytics course yeah. okay they will learn the basics of sql they will learn uh, excel and excel a lot of people put excel in their resumes but they don't really know what yeah. excel is and my it might be you because i also did that and when i see her using excel like pivot tables and all the fancy things i have no idea how to do that Maybe in the next video, you can teach us a few things from that. Yeah. 100%. So you will learn, um, again, SQL, Excel, maybe Python and R, which mm -hmm. are more data analysis related languages or, you know, even machine learning AI. And then you plan to go to the advanced one. Yes. Okay. That's, that's a good plan. That's good to know. So, yeah. so once I do, because I could have stri done the advanced uh, data analytics certification straight away right mm -hmm. but because i wanted to learn everything from scratch and understand the basics and you know know the terminologies and stuff like that so i thought it would be better to get the basic certification first right. so project manager managers should definitely learn this it's a tool in their belt would you also recommend freshers with no experience and developers with experience to learn data analysis via this course or maybe another way yeah 100 yeah, percent. like it's a great skill to have as i said because mm -hmm. so it doesn't matter it, it doesn't know. matter what someone is doing this course you recommend to everyone yes okay i think you, you are right data analysis is a thing that not even developers like even if you are an accountant if you are you know even if you have a job which is nothing related to development it's you, you can still learn it like and it's it won't harm anyone at least the basic one the advanced one, maybe it's more catered towards developers, yeah. from what I understand. So maybe that is something you only do if you're actually interested in the field and want to get yeah. a job or just want to go to the next level to challenge yourself. Yeah. But the basic one, just anyone can do it. Uh, and how far have you completed the course yet? So the certification actually comprises of eight different courses, right? Mm -hmm. And I've completed six courses so far. Okay. Yeah. So you're almost done. And uh, yeah. 
you didn't learn anything new you said but uh, can you give us like a quick two minute summary on what you have learned so far so you learn the basics of data analytics the the importance what kind of skill set you need what kind of questions you want to ask when you're working with data right. um and then you're going to learn the different kinds of the challenges that are present you know in in this field and how to make sure that you work on these challenges and make sure your data is uh, and what about the technical part what what technical skills have you learned so technical skills i've learned the basic of sql so basic sql basic excel they plan on teaching basics of r as well so from the perspective of someone who has never learned sql i can't say basic for them sql is a basic okay. so what have you learned in basic sql so basic X sql is you do your setup and then you do basic queries for example create fetching data from the create, database create read update delete so create read update delete okay. yes delete not as much but yeah i mean did you also learn about indexes no no okay. so that is not relevant uh, to i mean it is though but not covered in the basics right okay. so basically it's just fetching data because for uh, now. you cannot fetch huge amounts of data without right. having proper indexes right. obviously the id the primary column has an index yes. but you know you can't really do any queries on big data if you right. don't have indexes so as i mentioned this is really like a basic course mm -hmm. we don't talk about optimization and you know like okay. all these things in the basic course mm -hmm. so it's just about sorting the data filtering the data like okay. stuff like that so you learn the same things in excel as well so for example if someone does takes this course they would be able to get the list of all the customer orders in the table sorted by date and they can do this yeah yeah and then they can also do get a list of all the customer orders sorted by date for a particular customer so customer with id 536 right they can also do this yeah. okay i'm just trying to understand what actually uh, you know uh, we are learning so that would be filtering right so the concept is the same right sorting and filtering mm -hmm. you learn it in X sql like the technical way of right. implementing that executing that and you learn the same thing in excel as well and then working with tables so when you have huge like thousands of rows of data in excel Absolutely. and how how would you analyze that so the first step to analyze that would be to have a sorting kind of order in that data Correct. right yeah. so you would use sorting for that you mm -hmm. would sort uh, one of the main columns in either ascending or descending order Correct. and then you will filter some stuff out right So mm -hmm. for example if I want as you said that you know customer xyz on date so and so so I would filter the customer xyz right. and then I'll see okay. like whatever date it is and, and then maybe you sort by the total amount of the order exactly. so you get so, so whatever is it, per exactly based on the questions that mm -hmm. I'm asking myself right whatever answer I want to find out I'm going to use sorting and filtering to like get data pertaining to you know that question I'm actually very excited on what you learn in the advanced one because if it's really nice and you learn a lot of optimizations and a lot of cool things maybe I will also get that certificate one day uh, and if you are a new developer now I'm talking to you not to her if you are a new developer like Kritika said and you don't know or maybe if you are if you are not even a developer you are still getting into the field you are a fresh developer uh, if you don't know these fields like how to get data from the database and do basic filters and sorting yeah. this course is most likely for you yeah now and if you are in the industry for many many years and you don't really have time and you really want to just learn the advanced stuff go for go the go for the advanced or if i get directly yeah. yeah i had time that's why i took the longer route mm -hmm. i would have done the same thing got in the advanced one